I realized that we face a nearly impossible task ahead of us today. You see, I got a pair of convict cichlids recently, and I know how a lot of hobbyists view them. Uh, they're cheap, they're readily available, they're easy to keep, they breed like guppies type of deal. They're viewed as like the ultimate beginner cichlid, but I've always loved them regardless of their ease of care or how people look at them. But in today's video, I'm gonna try to set up a tank that might sway people's opinions on them, hopefully. Let's do something like easy to do with easy to run equipment, but showcase the convict cichlid in ways that it typically isn't, which is in a really cool looking tank. This is how I did it. So I gotta remove the convicts before we escape their aquarium. Um, I didn't really have anything set up for them last night when I got them, so I decided, okay, I'm just gonna plop them in a tank with a cycled filter, and when I've got to uh, go ahead and escape it, I'll just, <laughs> what you get in the damn net? I'll just go ahead and remove them, uh, because the scape I have in mind is relatively uh, straightforward. Mind you, we got a scape around the sponge filter, and what I'm thinking about doing here is uh, a brown sand to match the background, but then I wanna use a bunch of Malaysian bogwood, which is the chunks, and incredibly common in the aquarium hobby. Like, the average hobbyist will go buy a chunk of wood like this, not those massive, massive pieces that I typically got. Uh, so what I'm thinking is something that kind of just fills the center so they can swim all the way around it, and we hide that sponge filter. Uh, so a very basic and simple scape. I don't know why I'm yelling, I'm wearing a microphone. So I'm going to do my best to try to make it look like it was always meant to be like one piece type of thing. And, but we'll see what happens. So far, so good. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think that looks darn good to be honest with you. And look at this, my little nook for sponge filter maybe. Let me see. I wasn't planning on using rocks, but I'm thinking I might have to just to get certain things to like balance. Cause I kind of want this to go like that. I'm not in love with this just yet and I really gotta be. I think there's just not enough dynamic going on here. Yeah, that that actually looks kind of cool. Let me, I don't like the way this looks though. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's take a look from it up above. You can see like, there's so much room. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. I like it. I love the overhang um, of this. I'm not, I might fiddle around a little bit more, but uh, that's why I hate, uh, Malaysian bogwood. It's not easy to work with and it's so like, it's just so blocky. I don't want a lot of uh, substrate because the uh, the convicts are going to do what they want with it. They're going to move it out of the way and I do want them to be able to do their thing in here without too much of a struggle. They're going to uh, obviously move the substrate out of the way to lay their eggs. They are an egg layer, so they'll want to put them on a surface. Yeah, good thing is, is the sponge filter's already cycled, and these guys are going in the aquarium all by themselves, so there's no real need of quarantining because quarantine is essentially cutting them off from every other fish so that there is no cross-contamination, and that is essentially what we're doing here. Yeah, for rocks, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I just feel like a few skirt sort of deal wouldn't look too bad did that add or take away I think it added yeah I need some smaller ones though for fillers yeah I like the idea of this big pile of just like rubbled rock almost like um, like it's very chaotic to me. See what I mean by the rock rubble? It just, just finishes it. Go ahead and take a hammer, go outside, take a hammer, smash up some rock. And that's how you get your rock rubble. <laughs> well, at least that's how I get mine. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this huge rock over here though. So something like this. Yeah. Now I like that. I think this aquarium makes a ton of sense. If you look at it like this, we don't even see the sponge filter, which is awesome. Once it gets filled up and the lights are in the proper, you know, the proper 
spot on this tank, more like that, it's gonna definitely change the way it looks. It's very messy and very chaotic, but it's just the way I see things. I'm looking through tunnels. I'm looking for places that the fish are going to be breeding. I'm looking for to create visuals where they're not gonna breed right here. There's, it's not habitable enough. They're probably gonna do it back there or right here or on that rock, or they're gonna come over here or they might do it over there or they could do it in this little area. And that is the whole point of the scape. And the thing that I was thinking about is like, these guys are gonna spawn eventually in here. And I just wanna make sure that we can actually see them. This tank's gonna look entirely different though when it's filled with water. And uh, we're gonna fill it up and add these guys back in right now. So the convicts are in now, and I gotta say, they're happy. Um, the male's already performing uh, his breeding rituals, uh, you know, pumping his chest out or his gills and uh, trying to show off for that female. With that said, I did remove some of the rocks. This big one that was here, it was just an eyesore for me and it was kind of bugging me, so I removed it so we could have like a clear tunnel all the way through. We could see all the way, oh, sorry. We could see all the th way through on this side and that side, and of course on every angle. So when these guys do, want to do their thing, we'll still be able to observe it. Uh, I think that the only issue that I don't like with this right now is the sheer volume of tannins in the water, but we are using Malaysian bogwood and these are going to leach tannins uh, for weeks, if not months to come. Uh, you know, even if we boil them and remove most of the tannins, which is that yellow coloration that you see in the water, it's still going to leach at least somewhat. Uh, with that said, a few rocks from outside, you know, literally just collected them uh, locally. Uh, four pieces of wood, a sponge filter, and some sand, and I gotta say, I love it. Uh, I think that this is absolutely fantastic, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that uh, when you have a fish that you really like, you tend to put more effort and time into their aquariums versus, you know, just kind of chucking them aside because a lot of the times you don't see convicts in like a skate tank or anything too fancy or too great. Oh, there they go, fighting. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Is this a little too much for convicts or is it what you expected? Would you consider keeping them moving forward? Um, and I mean dedicating a whole aquarium to fish that will cost you five bucks total for the two of them. <laughs> I don't care, I love them. I don't think that the, the, the dollar value uh, lowers their value to me. But we do have one problem with this aquarium and that is their neighbor is simply not pleased that he has competition beside him. 